Now to our other breaking news story, a deadly accident tonight on a Cumberland County farm. A 68 year old man was apparently doing maintenance work. He did not make it out of a silo alive. Daniel Hamburg joins us from South Middleton. Daniel. Well, Alicia, this happened right behind me about a quarter mile back. We are off of Rockledge Drive. This accident happened around 6.30 p.m. tonight. As you can just see, crews are just leaving the scene, wrapping up this intensive rescue. Now, firefighters from Mount Holly Springs were first to get here, and we're told they found that man about 40 to 50 feet up in a silo laying on a loader. Public Information Officer John Bruch tells us firefighters took a reading in that that silo and the oxygen level was under 17%, which he says can't sustain life. That's why they had to call in a lot of other uh, res uh, uh, departments to come help them, including uh, Carlisle Fire and Rescue, a Cumberland County Technical Rescue Team, and technical rescue teams from the Defense Logistics Agency New Cumberland and the city of Harrisburg with a plan to get him out. Now, of course, uh, John Bruch says that he believes that that man did pass out. Uh, of course, it could have also been from a medical emergency. They just don't know until an autopsy it happens. But here's a little bit of, of uh, a glimpse into just how difficult this rescue was. They're working inside of a hatch. So you have to rig your, your personnel that are going down to them. You have to take harnesses to put that individual in. You got to get the ropes all ready. They have two aerials up there. Um, and then, you, you know, it's, it's a slow go. It's not fast. And again, they recovered that man's body around 950 this evening. So it took them more than three hours to get everything slowly up and running so that those rescuers could get him out safely as well. The man's name has not been released. We'll expect more updates in the coming days from the Cumberland County Corner. Live in Cumberland County, Daniel Hamburg, ABC 27 News.